Assalamu alaikum. This presentation is about using certain stitches configuration to produce a version of the wound edges if this is required for one reason or another. It's really the healing of the dermal layer of the skin that is of prime importance in the healing of wounds in general. The dermal layer has the maximum tensile strength in the skin structures and stitches uh, are designed in various ways to um, produce maximum opposition of the dermal layer so that the healing process would go on correctly. You would see in this stitch two errors. The configuration of the stitch produced less amount of tissue in the base than in the upper part of the loop and this produces inversion of the skin inversion will produce um, an ugly scar and also will uh, promote the epidermal layer of the skin to go uh, under surface and prevent good opposition of the dermal layers these are the two things that a version of the wound are meant to correct you should have more tissues in the base than in the upper part of the loop and you should have a, a slight aversion of the epidermal layer and the whole skin so as to provide maximum opposition of the dermal layer to produce a good healing. And I'll go through five different types of stitches that can produce uh, this type of aversion of the wound edge, edges, including a simple interrupted suture, a far, far near, near vertical mattress, a near near far far vertical mattress, interrupted horizontal mattress, and continuous horizontal mattress. We'll go through them one by one. The simplest way of producing wound edge aversion is to use the common simple interrupted uh, suture. Uh, the way to do that is just to press a little bit with the closed jaws of a tooth or a non-tooth force just behind the point of entrance of uh, the wound into uh, the wound edge. And this produces enough aversion of the wound edge. You can see clearly the uh, dermal layer, the epidermal layer, and the subcutaneous tissue layer in here. And you do it the same on the other side. You press a little bit with the uh, closed jaws of the forceps and um, then you retrieve the needle and just tie the simple interrupted uh, suture uh, and this will produce the required uh, skin edge aversion. That's all what is needed. The second way of producing wood edge aversion is in a consistent way is to use the more elaborate technique of vertical mattress suture. We use here the traditional type of a far to far and near to near type of vertical mattress suture, which produces two uh, loops of suture within the wound. Uh, the far to far is the deeper and longer, and the near to near is shorter and shallower. Um, and this type of configuration would produce a version because you have more tissues in the base than you have towards the apex of the uh, final suture when it is tied and this consistently produces some aversion. Uh, if you reverse it, if you have, if you are stitching for example a hollow viscous like a pharyngoplasty or intestine and then you can just reverse this end up having the shorter uh, loop uh, deeper to the wound than the uh, longer and more superficial this is going to cause inversion rather than aversion uh, so what happens here is i will use the far too far suture first this is the first loop the deeper and the longer and you retrieve the needle, reverse the direction, and then the near to the near. Now you have the two loops, and you just have to tie the knot 
and you will see a consistent version of the wound edge when this is uh, tied. The same effect can be produced by using the near-to-near, far-to-far uh, configuration of the vertical mattress suture. Here you start by doing the near-to-near -near, um, loop first, which is the shorter and the shallower of the two. Then you go and the a little bit to the back and produce the other loop, the deeper and the longer loop of suture. This is the far to far. The advantage of this technique is to give you a better skin edges of position. But it ends up producing a similar version to the traditional type of the uh, vertical mattress uh, far far near near type of suture they both produce a very consistent version of the wound edge the fourth way of producing skin wound aversion is to use the interrupted horizontal mattress suture this produces a configuration where you end up with two long strands of suture superficial to the skin and parallel to the wound edge. This configuration gives a wound edge aversion. In case inversion is required, a slight modification to the technique would have the long strands of sutures passing superficial to the skin but perpendicular rather than parallel and this is going to produce inversion rather than aversion. Um, the traditional type of the horizontal mattress suture, you will have the skin, the suture strands parallel to the wound edges. So you start from one side, pass the needle to the other side, retrieve it and change the direction of the needle and go back to the initial side again. So you end up having two loops of suture, one on each side, and they are both parallel to the wound edge, and this will cause consistent aversion of the wound edge. And the same technique of the horizontal mattress suture can be used in a continuous rather than uh, an interrupted type of suture. Uh, this is sometimes required if you are suturing a long wound uh, because it saves time and saves on the suture material as well. Um, so what you do here is basically you start by forming a simple interrupted suture. You cut one end of uh, the suture and keep the other end. And now you go on the same side. and start doing the horizontal mattress technique, leaving long strands of tissues parallel to the wound edge, and you go from one side to the other. So that's basically a continuous way of doing the uh, classic horizontal mattress suture. And when the suture line is tightened, then this is going to produce um, the required version of the skin edges. You just need to fix it at the end in the same way you have anchored it at the beginning. And uh, when enough tension is on the suture line, you will see the required version here. We've seen in this presentation five different types of stitches that can produce wound edge aversion. In the next presentation, we'll go through uh, different stitches that can produce uh, skin edges inversion. Salam alaikum.